Where's all that confidence, that macho-ness, that badassness, that cool, masculine, seductive guy? Nah, you got soft. You got too damn. Choose yourself up. This video will be about why she wants some new pump sticks. Let's get into it. See, a woman and a man have a purpose for each other. The main purpose is to fuck. The main purpose is to <laughs> satisfy each other to a certain point. If you ain't satisfying her, that's a big reason of why she moving on and jumping on the, on the other pumping sticks. Alright? If you're not satisfying a girl sexually, half of half of why you're there is gone, just like that. It doesn't matter if you were great at first and then you start getting lousy or whatever the fuck. Women don't tolerate sexual inadequacy. They don't tolerate if you fuck up. They don't tolerate. They don't forgive or forget. If you fuck up or you don't last long enough, she'll remember that. And if you want to compensate for it, you have to go next round way long. You have to surprise the fuck out of her. Because women get bored. They get bored of stuff. Women, some women out there love new flavors. And see, after a year, a woman... She, she gets bored of the sex. You gotta spice things up. Now see, that's just one. That's just... Now see, that's just one of the reasons why she, she wants new pumping sticks. She got bored of the sex. You don't satisfy her guts anymore. Another reason is you're not that cool guy you used to be. The cool guys you thought you were in the beginning. You were fun. You were charismatic. You were mysterious. You weren't too serious. You were charming. You were seductive. You were sexual as fuck. Because in the beginning, you know you want it. You know you want to. You, you enjoy the moment. You enjoy the moment of how things are with the girl. But then what happens when you know them for too long? We don't try. Huh? We get too close. You know what happens? I'll tell you. You get comfortable. You get comfortable. And when you get comfortable, that's when shit goes downhill. Why? You're boring to her. You're not interesting. There's no mystery. Where's the fun? Where's the mystery? Why are you needy? Stop being fucking needy. It's her job to be needy, not you. Where's all that confidence, that macho-ness, that badassness, that... Cool, masculine, seductive guy. Nah, you got soft. You got too damn comfortable. And when she saw that, when she saw the little bitch side of you, the little bitch side, when a woman sees that, it dries her up like the fucking Sahara Desert down there. Her guts, they dry as fuck. Because she saw how much of a little softy you are. Women don't like that. Women want to be the soft, delicate creatures. Not you. But, you got comfortable, comfortable, needy, stop, you stopped going out, doing interesting things, stop fucking having great sex, interesting sex, kinky shit, whatever, you know, you got boring and basic and vanilla. Women love, uh, women love the emotional roller coaster. they love seductive toxic shit, they hate boring stuff. If you change how you were in the beginning, she will find another dude. Because women, monkey branch. What is monkey branching? Thanks for asking. Monkey branching is when a woman sets up another man in the back. When she's thinking about breaking up with you. Because you failed too many shit tests. Because you're not the cool guy anymore. Because she's getting bored of you. Some women just love new flavors. Some women just have a hoe face. Because they have the fear of missing out on FOMO. They fear missing out on stuff. They fear missing out on men, parties, clubs, going out, spending money. They, they fear missing that out. They fear fucking around. 
Okay, most women they ha they'll have a hoe face. It's normal. Get over it. Don't get pissed off about it. It's the way it is. They have a hoe face. So what? No. If you're dating for something serious, don't. Don't force it. Women want to go and have fun. They don't want things to be serious. So don't take it serious. Don't go for long term. Go for short term. See whatever the fuck happens. To see if you if you come up with too many expectations and you fall in love with the wrong girl, man. She's going to hurt you bad. She's going to hurt you so bad. See, if she got a whole face, she gonna do it. If she's not into you, she's gonna go and find another man. If she really wants to do something, she will go and do it. And you can't avoid it. It's why I 150 fucking percent tell guys, if your girlfriend is withholding sex, your wife withholding sex, or she's not behaving, she shows attitude, cut your ties. No. You draw a line where if she doesn't please you sexually, cut it off. She lost respect for you because women only fuck men they respect. She doesn't need to love you to fuck you, but she does need to respect you. To want to bounce on you. To want to bend over for you. To want to get on her knees. Let's see, how can she do that if... You're not the cool guy you used to be. If you're, or you're not pleasing her sexually. If it's short term, it's short term. Whatever the fuck. Stop, stop getting attached, man. Stop getting attached. See, failing bitch tests. That's a bad, bad thing. Bitch tests help you make sure you're the masculine man. If she sees bitchiness inside of you. That's gonna turn her off. She's the one who's supposed to be fucking feminine. And bitchy. And whiny and needy and clingy. Not you. You are the masculine, the calm, seductive, serious, charismatic guy who's sexual. That's what you have to be. If she just doesn't want to be with you anymore, you probably fucked up. And if you didn't fuck up, if you were just the same and all that stuff, and she still wanted another, another guy, then it's because she found a better man. Because women are... Wait for it, hypergamous. She wants to find the best man she can. Status, looks, money, character, sex, all of it. It's all a general analytical in her in their freaking biological brains of ticking and calculating and seeing what's worth a win. Is it worth me sleeping with this guy? Does he make me look cooler? Does he make me look more attractive? Does he validate me because he is worth a damn? If it's a yes for all those things, she will be into you. She will cheat on other guys for you. Or she will cheat on you for a guy that's better. She will cheat on you with a guy that's better. Hypergamy, man. Women's nature. Don't hate it. Accept it. Learn from it. Move the fuck on. Otherwise, you're going to be bawling your eyes off, crying. Like, why does she leave me? Why does she love me? Why is she bouncing on another man's freaking stick? Stop asking why. You know why. Here's another reason why she want to go and find another stick. Your life is boring. See, women want you to be done with your success and all your dreams and goals. They want to be with you at the end of the finishing line. Most women don't want to wait with you while you go through the struggles of saving money, etc., etc., working hard, losing money, etc., not going out as much, not ordering as much, not buying shit as much. Women don't want that. They don't want to work. They want to wait for you at the finish line. But see, it's a double-edged sword because when women do that, you know what happens? Guys, when we get the when we get the girls at the end, we don't give a fuck because now none of them they didn't they didn't wait, they didn't really work with you. Therefore, no reason to really take them seriously. And see, girls do this sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, see, girls they will tell you cut off your friends, cut off your female friends. Hell no. Nah. 
You need a social circle. You need friends. You need another life besides her. If she has friends and she asks you uh, she asks you to hang out with them, go hang out with them. Be fucking sociable as hell. Be great at socializing. It helps you economically, financially, emotionally, psychologically, relationshiply. It does wonders. Being someone social. And even better, be social for friends and fucking lead the group. Be the cool one who leads the pack, who gives the orders, who is the cool one, who doesn't take anyone seriously, and doesn't change his mind or bend to social pressure. Because see, she wants wants to look up to you, but she can't look up to you if other people aren't looking up to you. If you're not hanging out with other people, she won't really know if you're the type to lead a group, can she now, huh? If you have friends, hang out with your friends. Have guys and have a guys days, okay? Just do not put her in front of you in your daily goals, routines, whatever the fuck schedule. It's you, then after your friends, no, you after your purpose, after your friends, then it's her. If you make her a priority, she will ditch you for another man. If you make yourself priority, she will stay with you. you can see. If you get rid of your female friends, you know what happens? She gets bored because now there's no competition. Because women are the most competitive creatures out there. They are the most competitive. Okay, they don't like it when it's too easy. They don't like it when it's too fucking hard. But they still do like it. They like the competition. They like trying. They like you pushing, pulling, teasing, and pulling away. Teasing and pulling away. <laughs> Digging her out. And after teasing her again, whispering shit into her ear, then pulling away, she loves something that is hard to get. You know what I'm saying? If you chase the fucking cat, it'll run away, but if you freaking ignore the cat, it'll come at you. That's how women are. They are reversed. They're not logical. Men are logical. Women are emotional. So the rules are different. And see, this is the, this is the last, last, last one. She a damaged good. Simple as that. She is a damaged good. She is a girl who is mentally or emotionally fucked up and she just wants to get fucked up with a bunch of guys to numb herself, to have fun, to be the party girl. And you know what? That is life, man. Damaged goods, women who aren't made for long-term are serious. They're made for short-term pleasure. And you know what? They enjoy that life too. Because when you get a guy that's serious, they get bored easily. She wants fun. Toxic, masculine, sexual fun. If she's a damaged good, have your fun. And when things go downhill, cut it off. Like the video, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Hey, we made it to the end of the video. If you want to watch more, check out this one right here or down there. Don't forget to follow me on IG, Rumble, Reddit, or check out my website. Because there's always more to learn.